Floyd Mayweather came out. This was this was front page sport news today. Floyd Mayweather has retired from the brutal sport of boxing. That's a quote. Okay. That's interesting, though, in many levels for me. I mean, first off, Floyd has been a master of manipulating the media. He's really done a good job, and he does think it through. And he's a second-generation guy, third in his family, but second, right, his pops and his uncle. I mean, they kind of understood this stuff. And I don't know that Floyd ever got credit for that. I mean, he's a bit of a dumb dumb when he talks, and it comes out that he's illiterate and he can't read. Okay, fine. But that doesn't mean, I mean, look, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Floyd did some things that were very thought out and very strategic with his career. And I'm not just talking about the punches. I mean, Floyd did do some manipulation. Don't forget, Floyd got criticism in his career for ducking opponents and not fighting the top guys. Well, that was true. But to be able to get away with that on pay-per-view in front of a sold-out arena is a brilliance. Not just anyone can do that. Most guys have to match up with the right guy. Look, Floyd was very open that he didn't like the matchup with Zab Judah. He said, I'm, I'm a speed fighter. He's a speed fighter. I'm a counterfighter. He's a counterfighter. And I'm not sure I'm faster than him. I mean, he was kind of open about it. Eventually, he met up with Zab. He got over on him. But there was some matches that Floyd was more than willing to tell you that's not the right guy at this right time. Over the span of his career, and I only offer you this because the story should be told correctly. Over the span of Floyd's career, 50 fights, he fought them all. All of them. He fought Canelo. People thought he'd never step up and fight Canelo. Then he fights Canelo. Canelo's 21 years old, undefeated. Floyd not only beats Canelo, but then people quickly rewrite the story and say, well, Flo Canelo could beat him today, but he couldn't then. Well, at the time that they fought, you guys were saying that he wouldn't fight him because Canelo was the next generation and Floyd was already over the hill and Floyd went out. He destroyed him. I want to say he ran won 10 rounds to two. I mean, not for nothing. The fight was not competitive. And now, and now there's still the narrative that Canelo would destroy him today. It's like, well, if he would, he had a lot of... A lot of gap, a lot of ground that he had to cover just to get to even, let alone surpass Floyd, which he may have. But in Floyd's defense, he did take the fight. He did fight De La Hoya. He did fight Mosley. I mean, he fought them all. He even went and fought Connor in a different sport. And as much as that was supposed to be a sideshow, Connor was a big guy. Connor was a young guy. Connor wanted to win that fight. I mean, there was something to that. I think that Floyd's career should be told accurately. And I think it should also be studied because he did manipulate the media. The reason I bring that up, it would appear to me that he's manipulating the main, uh, media today. Look, the only thing more embellished than Floyd Mayweather pay-per-view numbers is Floyd Mayweather's net worth. He is not fighting because he wants to fight and has not for a meaningful amount of time. He made very good money. He was one of those knuckleheads that just spent more than he brought in. Simple as that. Within Floyd's retirement speech, which I found a little bit weird, considering he has not boxed in a number of years, and that time he did box, it was against Conor McGregor, a guy who had never done it before. Floyd's 50, 49 and 0, this guy has no fights. I mean, this has been years. So for him to come out now and announce that he's retired, don't forget, as soon as he got done with Connor, he went into the press conference and announced his retirement. Now, that was about the third time he had ever announced that he was retired, but he did make it very clear. I even remember it. Without even looking this up, I can give you the exact quote. He said, young guys, don't call me out. Don't even put me in that spot. I've done my part. It's all yours. It's all yours. And he handed it over. That was a pretty cool retirement. Within his retirement, he then said, I'm still doing exhibitions. I'm traveling the world and I'm making X amount of dollars, which is a gross embellishment. That's okay. It's part of his manipulation of the media. I found that interesting though, because when he went over to Ryzen and fought that young kickboxer, that was called an exhibition. And none of us fully understood why this is called an exhibition. We thought leading into it, well, maybe this is a work and maybe this is a setup. For some reason, they called it an exhibition. The Ryzen boss, Sakabara, came out and goes, hold on just a second. Exhibition is being lost in translation. You Americans are interpreting exhibition by your meaning of it, which means it's kind of a side event, it's a workout, it's a sparring session, it's something other than a competition. That's not what it means here. Over here in Japan, when we say exhibition, it would be similar to calling 
something an extravaganza, a one night only, a special event. Okay, fine. But I appreciated that clarity because if you go and watch that contest, that was a straight up fist fight. And Floyd straight up whipped that kid's ass. I mean, that's just what happened. So when Floyd says, I'm still, I'm retired from the brutal sport, but I'm still going to go around the world and do exhibitions. I'm kind of scratching my head going, man, aren't we saying the same thing? Isn't that a fight? And didn't Saki Ibarra make it very clear that that word exhibition is just lost in translation? Now, I offer you guys that. Because there's many Floyd Mayweather the fans out there. So if any of you guys are feeling hungover or singing the blues about Floyd's fifth retirement, which eventually one of them's going to be true, I don't know if you have to be so sad right now. He said within the statement, I'm going to continue to travel around and do these exhibitions of which Sakibara went ahead and defined for us as a special one-night attraction. But he did limit the rounds. I want to say when Floyd did that, it was like a three-round contest. I think that's fun. I think one of the problems with boxing is how long boxing is. I also think that boxing agrees with me. If you look at the history of boxing, it used to be unlimited rounds. Now, a round did not conclude at three minutes for you non-historians of boxing. A round concluded as soon as one guy was knocked down. As soon as that guy stood up, that consummated a new round so you could have like 50 round fights. Boxing then came in with the 15 round system. They shortened that to the 12 round system. I think one of the big problems with boxing is how long it is. I think if you were to go, so many people say that Floyd is not a power puncher. He is not a seek and destroy. Okay, if you look at his record, you have a fair claim to say that, but don't ever forget what Mike Tyson said. Mike Tyson said, if you look for the finish, you will not win the decision. And that is very true. If you put your foot down on the gas pedal and you look for a finish and you don't find it, you will find yourself exhausted and you will not be able to win rounds and win a decision. Where that becomes relevant is if you go look at what Floyd did when he did the exhibition in Japan. He finished that guy so incredibly fast, but he only had to be in shape for nine minutes. He didn't have to have a strategy in the back of his mind to win seven rounds, throw five away, and walk out with a decision. He didn't have to do that. So I'm not totally sold on this fact that Floyd is not a power puncher, and I'm not even sold on the fact that he's not a seek and destroyer. I will concede that it does appear that he was a good gamesman, understood the must system, understood a 10-9, and understood he had 10, uh, 12 rounds. I think it would be very interesting to see Floyd in more three-round contests, even if he wants to call it an exhibition. Three rounds seems like a more appropriate amount of time to see a guy fight anyway. And when you're talking about boxing and you're talking about Floyd specifically, and you go look at his exhibition he had in Japan, it was one of the more entertaining Floyd fights we've ever seen. So perhaps Floyd will reinvent the world of boxing. Just keep doing exhibitions, which just means he gets to set the round system. I, for one, think that could be fun. Chael Sonnen, not a frail bone in his body, plus the skills he honed in, the cage of sports, the octagon wars, the dominant force upon